Hey Oklahomies, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you. We have a big day ahead where we're going to be demolishing the tub shower combo. Uh, this is a big, big thing. I've waited for this and I know I've said that probably about everything in this demo, but it's just so relaxing and just so great seeing that all the things go that are just very ugly. <laughs> Though this tub has been functional up to this point, we do have a tub in the guest bathroom. You only need one tub in a house, so we're going to make this our lovely master shower, walk-in shower. But first we need to address a few key things. As you noticed in the last video, well maybe you noticed, we broke up the tile all around the toilet, but we didn't take out the toilet yet. That is because the water shutoff valve to the toilet actually does not work. It not like half works. It does slightly slow the water flow, but it ends up filling the toilet back up like normal after a few hours, which is not good. If you're trying to turn off the water, you want it to be turned off and not leaking into your bathroom. The same goes for the tub faucet that leaks constantly. So how we're gonna address this is we're gonna shut off the water to the house. Then we're gonna go into our basement and we're going to, we're gonna cut through the pipes and then we're gonna have them closed off until we are ready to do the plumbing for the rest of the bathroom. Then once we get that turned off, we can demolish the tub and we can continue taking the tile down and stripping the rest of the bathroom. I have design updates for you too. I did find the vanity we're gonna be using for our master bathroom. I also think I found the shower heads we will be using. Yes, I said shower heads. I'm very excited about that, and but I'll, I'll talk about those in another video. But yeah, stay tuned. I'm so excited. Let's get to it. Wow, that's finally not leaking. <laughs> Don't worry, that's the old electric. <laughs> Now that we've got the water off, it's time for us to take the toilet out and then get to smashing this tub. Okay, since we got the water off for the toilet and the shower, now we are going to empty the water from the toilet just so we don't carry it out and make a mess through the house. I'm going to be scooping the toilet water out with a cup and then I have a sponge that I'm going to try to use to soak up as much of the tank water as we can. We'll take the bolts out with a wrench and then we'll kind of shimmy it back and forth to release it from the silicon. Then we can carry it on out of the house. And then I'm just gonna take the other nut off the other side. Oh, 
I bet there have been animals in here. Yeah.
Lois Keys. This is just great. It's so great. It's rotted. And this is just missing. <laughs> this is all going through there from water. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we're not going to get into that right now. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Join us next week for removing the rest of the wall tile, talking about the next steps in this renovation, struggles we've had, mm -hmm. and things we didn't know about renovating our 1916 home. See you then, Oklahomies. <laughs> I have the half inch brass hex plug now. <laughs> Bucket check. <laughs> Big pipe check. Lock and load. Let it rip. Thanks, people. Yeah. <laughs>